Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on your location at this time of the day. We are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. All right, let me also um, wish you guys a happy new month. It's the first day in the month of May 2023. All right, guys, um, we already know the aftermath of February 25 election. I'm talking about the um, petition of Peter Obi and Labour Party um, at the tribunal, challenging the outcome and the victory of um, Tinibu um, after the February 25 election. All right, guys, um, so far, so good. Just to recap, the tribunal will um, hear Peter Obi's petition that is on the 10, 12, and 13 of this month. All right, so according to uh, Labour Party, they said they will create a hall of shame for any judge that compromise uh, the hearing of uh, Peter B and Labour Party's uh, petition. And then um, they also want the judiciary, especially the election petition tribunals, against being compromised during the hearing of several suits challenging the 2023 general election. The national chairman of the Congress, Mr. Joe Ajero, made the remark yesterday Sunday in Abuja during a news conference organized by the Labor and Civil Society Movement Front to mark the 2023 Workers' Day. He also noted that the Labor and Civil Service uh, Civil Society may soon establish a hall of shame for any judge that jeopardized the process citing how the judiciary imposed leaders on Nigerians in the previous election. All right, guys, um, according to um, Ajero, he expressed worry that the election petition tribunals were yet to commence sitting regarding petitions from a grief candidate who participate in the exercise. All right, guys, so um, let me quickly give you the statement of Ajero. According to him in his word, in quote, the judiciary has set many states and institutions on fire. The judiciary has set Imo State on fire, and up till now, people are wondering how a person who was not a candidate of his party be declared the governor. The judiciary has so many questions to answer. If they fail to answer those questions, within a short time, we would create a hall of shame for those judges that come up with some judgment, and that could happen soon. So that was from um, Ajero. All right, guys. So um, as we already know, um, the petition of Peter will be at the tribunal. So um, it is a common practice. That is the reason why um, the people that fail election, okay, they believe that by the time they tell you to go to court, that is the end. Of course, we already know that um, uh, judiciary, this is one of the problems we have uh, in Nigeria election. I mean, percentage of um, the election, uh, the winner of elections in Nigeria is always determined by the court. I mean, it's not supposed to be so. That is the truth, nothing but the truth. I mean, what was they saying? Or why did I not conduct election at the first place when they know that um, the election will end up in the court? Why? It is a question of, um, this is a thing we, we need to address in Nigeria. The judiciary should stop this, um, you know, habit of uh, imposing leaders, choosing leaders for anybody just because of, uh, you know, influence of, uh, you know, political party or whatsoever. Of course, we remember what happened in the, some time ago, that is a uh, emo state, where a candidate, uh, Hopu Zodima, that emerges the fourth position became a state governor. Of course, uh, that is the reason why Hopu Zodima is referred as, um, uh, I've, I've forgotten how they call him. I think uh, uh, a governor of something, something, please, you guys should remind me of the name, commonly called uh, him a state governor. I'm talking about uh, Hopu Zodima. Okay, that Supreme Court governor, okay. So this is a problem Nigerians is facing. I mean, why did I not conduct election in the first place? When they know that after the election, all the aggrieved aspirants will head to court, sometimes uh, believing that they will reclaim their mandate and so on. So I need to look at this um, rigging of elections squarely. 
that is the truth nothing but the truth and that was the reason why this IREF and uh, B visa system was introduced but yet this is the same thing Nigerians keep getting after the election everybody running to court uh, believing that okay fine with the influence of the government with the influence of uh, maybe political party they will use that influence you know to get what they want in the court that ought to stop i mean the the earlier nigerians stopped that process where the judiciary imposed a candidate on nigerians the better for the country that is the true nothing but the truth so that is the reason why whatever happens uh just like what our next chairman says if you are not satisfied with the election you go to court so according to um the uh, NLC, the Labour Party, they said they will create a hall of shame for any judges that jeopardize and compromise uh, the judiciary or the election process. All right. And what is this hall of shame? Hall of shame simply means they will expose you. Of course, they will expose you. We have seen cases of uh, where judges are being compromised. They will expose it's not as if these judges do not know the truth. They, these guys know the truth. But because they, they are compromised, that is the reason why what we see keep happening. That is the reason why uh, somebody will say what money cannot do. You guys should know who I am talking about. If you know who I'm talking about, please let me know in the comment section below. The person keep telling you that what money cannot do, more money can do. <laughs> What does it imply? What money cannot do, more money can do. What does it imply? So according to uh, Labour, uh, they said they are ready to shame any judges, any judge that jeopardize the hearing of the tribunal. That is the truth. And they are ready to create a hall of shame, expose them, expose them whatever they are doing they are ready to create a hall of shame for them so that is the message from uh, the nigerian um, labor congress or should i say the labor as a whole all right guys um, i quickly want to update you from labor that they have sent a message to all the judges who feels that they can be compromised with money they are ready to create a hall of shame for them if they jeopardize and compromise the hearing of the tribunal, especially the Peter Obis tribunal coming up on the 10th, 12th and 13th of this month. All right, guys, see you in another update.